becomes really important in the painting um, that each layer is interesting and exciting as the one underneath it. Um, you know, often you think when you the end of result of this will be quite a realistic, tonally, you know, accurate sort of work. Uh, but the aim is not to end up with it being um, sort of dead and stilted. Um, we often see painters of the past like that, as dead and stilted. Um, but if you go and have a look at the, the backgrounds of some of these great master painters, and in the landscape, this is, you know, I think the greatest one you think about for someone who's a stilted painter, I would have said was Gainsborough. I would have thought, oh yeah, Gainsborough is, you know, it's just tight and clear and crisp and, and old school and all those sort of things. Um, until I saw a real live Gainsborough. The Gainsborough was, you know, I, I would have, I would have said, you know, the, the master painters, the most, the most stilted of them all. And yet, after I looked at this painting in the gallery, and I thought, my goodness, this guy's just playing with paint. He's just enjoying the, the surface, and it was in the background trees and in the foliage and that that you saw that his brush strokes were were alive and, and they were probably built up in a very similar manner to the way I'm doing. There's probably only big difference between Gainsborough and what I do in the main sense, uh, maybe here again more talent, I'm not sure, but uh, in the main sense um, is that he was um, a little bit of left handed painting here. Uh, he was um, doing it in a studio and so one of the things that I bring to painting uh, methods and techniques is that I'm doing mine live the whole time. Uh, over the next 10 weeks or so, I'm hoping to get this one completed within 10 weeks, um, but um, over that period of time, you know, the light changes, the conditions change, like this morning is really cloudy. Um, it's like, yeah, I knew the sun was going to come out, and now as the sun's coming out, these, in this area here, there's this wonderful light dappled um, uh, myrtles, um, just like silvery in there. And later on in the morning, or in the early afternoon, they will less be that and just be sort of see-through, and the greens of those, those will come through. So if you get the light behind a myrtle, it's this brilliant bright green light on top like that it's silvery light in the in the dull part it's this deep darkish green space here so all those things will come i'm just noticing all of this in this area up here um, there's lovely light hitting uh, and there's trunks lined up in there so i'll get there sometime when i get back down but you didn't see that 40 minutes ago when the light wasn't shining behind it. So one of my jobs as an artist on painting on site and doing this, unlike a, a camera which would just take that one photo and oh yeah, that's it, that's what it was looking like. Not really, it's just what you saw, the camera saw that fraction of a second. Um, but what my job will be to be to distill the things I want you to see and the things I don't want you to see.